Hello, today we are going to learn how to construct a regular hendecagon or 11-sided regular polygon inscribed in a given circle, as can be seen here on the screen. Just to inform you, this is a hand-drawn method, which is an approximation and not a mathematically based method. So there is a certain amount of room for error to be made here. So the first step is to draw a vertical diameter in the given circle. And the extremities of this diameter we will call point A and P. And to continue, the next step is to draw a perpendicular horizontal diameter to the previous diameter. And we will call the extremities of this diameter Q and R, as can be seen here on the screen. So the next step setting the compass to the length of the given radius o r and setting the compass on point p we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the circumference at a new point which we will call s as can be seen here so now using the same method and centering the compass on point q with the same radius we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the circumference again at a new point, which we will call point T. So to continue, setting our compass on point S and with a new radius ST, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the vertical diameter at a new point, which we will call U. as can be seen here. So the straight line distance between T and U is going to be the length of the side of the hendecagon or 11 sided polygon that we are going to draw. So finally to complete our 11 sided regular polygon we set our compass to the length TU we're going to translate this length 11 times onto the circumference of the circle. So starting with point A, setting our compass on point A, we scribe our first length, as shown here, the vertex B, and a continuation. Now setting the compass on vertex B, we scribe our next arc to get vertex C, Now again, vertex D, setting the compass on vertex D, we scribe our next arc. So we have to be very careful while doing this to try to be as accurate as possible. While when centering our compass, try to keep it exactly on the previous arc. The small problem with this method is because we have so many arcs, we can have a little bit of inaccuracy. But hopefully, if you're working as accurate as possible, our final arc should touch exactly on point A. And we scribe our last arc. Our second last one. Okay, and if we've been working with precision accuracy, our final arc should cut exactly at point A, as can be seen here. Okay, and now to finish our drawing with a thicker pencil, we're going to join all the arcs A to B, B to C, C to D until we have our 11-sided regular polygon, or hendecagon.
So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video.